Now we have the events in chapter 27 that surround the crucifixion of Christ. The Sanhedrin delivers Jesus to Pilate. And you have the repentance of Judas and the trial before Pilate, the release of Barabbas, the crucifixion, death, and burial of Jesus, and the tomb sealed and a watch set. Now we've come to the central fact of the gospel message. Paul says to the Corinthians, I delivered unto you the gospel. What is it? That Jesus died for our sins according to the Scriptures. We've come now to the record of that event. Now, actually, Matthew does not give a record of the actual crucifixion. In fact, no gospel writer does that. They merely tell what went on around the cross. Now, I know that there are those that can depict in graphic terms of how the nails were driven into the quivering flesh and the blood spurted out. Oh, yes, but that's not in the Bible, friends. It's as it were the Spirit of God put the mantle over it, and God spread the mantle of night down over the last three hours of His crucifixion and says, this is something you cannot look at that's beyond human comprehension, and the suffering cannot be fathomed, and it was a transaction between the Father in heaven and the Son on the cross. And that cross became an altar on which the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world was offered. And all Matthew says here, and they crucified him. We'll see that when we come to it in just a few moments. Now will you notice, I begin reading at verse 1, and we have here now the Sanhedrin delivers Jesus to Pilate. You remember they arrested him, tried him at night, which was contrary to the law, and the high priest ran his clothes. That was contrary to the Mosaic law. And not only that, but we find that they played a game with him. They buffeted him. They smote him with the palms of their hands. That was a Roman game. The Roman soldiers, when a prisoner is to be put to death, why, they could do with him as they pleased. And they played a game called hot hand. They would show the prisoner the hands of each one of the soldiers of the guard. Then they'd blindfold him, and then they would really punch him. I mean, take the palms of their hands, and then after that, they'd take the blindfold off, and he'd have to pick out the one hand that didn't hit him. And as you well can understand, he'd never guess the right hand, even if he did guess it. I think that they beat the face of the Lord Jesus into a pulp. Read the 53rd of Isaiah again that he was marred more than any man. They made him look absolutely not like a human being. They'd beat himself. Then they ridiculed him as a prophet. They said, prophesy unto us. Who smote you? Ridiculing him there. And then Peter comes and we have him the 